Steve, what do you do? I'm a hairdresser for the movie industry. Oh, do you do movie stars? Yeah. Ooh, who do you do? Anybody we know? Uh, I'm working on a Mike Nichols film right now. Okay. Called what planet are you from? With uh, Gary Shandling. You doing Gary Shandling's hair? No. Because uh, that would be quite a challenge. See, the lowest point in North America is located in California. What's it called? Um, Vancouver, British Columbia. No? Mm, no? No. No. Tell geography. No, it's the lowest point in California. Oh, the lowest point? It's a valley where a lot of people die. Oh, um... People die there every day. <laughs> Palm Springs? Close. <laughs> what country shares a border with California? What country shares a border with California? Sure. A country? There's no country that shares a border with California. All right, fine. All right. Does California border any foreign country? No. No. Is Mexico a foreign country? No. No. It's not foreign. No, it's like Paris and all that, ain't it? Paris would be foreign. Yeah. Mexico, it's like your neighbor. Yeah. Right, your neighbor, neighbor. Does California border any foreign countries? It borders Baja California. So it borders Baja, California. Oh, okay. So you have California. Well, then no, it doesn't. So then you go to Baja, California. And then where, what would happen? Where would you be next? Would you be in Oregon? Then you'd be in Oregon. I'm not sure, would you? So you go to California, Washington. Baja, Oregon, then Washington. Okay. Now, is California north or south of the equator? Uh, if I had to take a guess, I'd say, since I'm in Southern California, I'd say south. South, so the equator yes. would be north. Right. Up around Portland? Uh, a little more north. A little more north. Yeah. yeah. What is California's nickname? Cali. 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 Going back to Cali. California's nickname is what? Uh, Mexico. Close. 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 All right. What is the capital of California? San Francisco. No. Los Angeles. I don't know. What is the capital of California? I don't know. Pasadena. What is the name of that ocean right there? That's a tough one. The Pacific? That's the Pacific, very good. There's an island out there. What is the name of that island? Uh, the, uh, we're talking about Hawaii? No, no, no. The Midway? Uh, island right there, 26 miles. 26 miles across the sea. Do you remember that Gilligan? song? Gilligan. <laughs> Gilligan Island? <laughs> so what did they discover in California in 1848 that made people Oh, I have here? no history of California. Uh, I don't even know the history well, of California. What do you think? What do you think it was? Mm. It's like something you're wearing in your ear. Earrings. They discovered earrings? I don't know. You just yeah. said so. Hi, what's your name? Mary Wentz. Mary, what do you do? I am a photojournalist covering community stories throughout Los Angeles. Oh, okay. So you know the city pretty well. I love the city. Ah, you know California. I do. Who is the governor of California? Pete Wilson. Wrong! <laughs> okay, uh, who is the governor of California? Um, that is, um, Lundgren. Lundgren, no. Um, okay. Who is the governor I do of not California. know. I don't know. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, I'm not what? a good trivia person. That's trivia? Yeah. The For governor is trivial. Who is the governor of California? Um, Pete Wilson. No, 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 no. No, no. no uh, what's his name? Another guy. Um, oh, oh, that's it. Yeah, very good. <laughs> oh, can you name the mayor of Los Angeles? Tom Bradley. At the time. Well, what time? You mean 1970? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in the 70s. No, yeah, George Washington was president at one time. No, Who is the governor of California? I can't know. No, say Gray Davis. Okay. Gray yeah. Davis. Okay. Good. Try it one more time. Who is the governor of California? I cannot know. <laughs> no, say Gray Davis. Gray Davis. All right, let's try it again. When I, whatever I say, you say Gray Davis. Instead of I don't know, just go Gray Davis, okay? Gray Davis. All right, let's try it again. Who's the governor of California? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the governor of California? Gray Davis. That's right. Gray Davis. Gray Davis. Hi, what's your name? I'm Ann. Ann, what do you do? I'm a lifeguard. And oh, I, a lifeguard. Yeah. Well, that's going. You're from Los Angeles? I'm from Los Angeles. See, we're asking people if they miss the four seasons. Do I? No. 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 What are the four seasons? Don't know. <laughs> when summer, su fall, winter, da 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 da. And da 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 da. -da. Yeah. So close. So, so close, close there. What's your name? Robert. Robert, what do you do? Uh, I have my own company. Have your for, own company? Yeah. Yep. Uh, you, well, you kind of dress like a CEO. What kind of company do you have? <laughs> 
Uh, it's a fur accessory company. Fur accessory? Yeah. Is that really uh, the cool thing now, wearing fur? Uh, well, it's synthetic fur, of oh, course. Oh, it's fake fur? Yeah. What kind of fur things we do We don't kill make? no animals or anything. You don't kill no animals? What are the seasons? Uh, around here? What are the seasons? Oh, well, summer, spring, winter, and... Oh, so close. The last one. <laughs> How about just summer again? All right, well, are you familiar with the four seasons? Uh, the hotel on... No, 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 no not the hotel. What do bears do in the winter? Are you going to ask you these questions? They hibernate. Yeah, well, what is that? What is hibernation? Yeah. When they... I don't know, when they... Mate? They mate. Yeah. And how long do they mate for while they're... All of winter. All of winter. So they go in a cave and they have sex all winter. <laughs> and then they come out and they're huh, refreshed and vitalized. Yeah. Now here's something we don't get in L.A. What is another word for freezing rain? Another word for freezing rain? Mm-hmm. Uh, ice cubes? Ice cubes. <laughs> I ask you, why do birds fly south for the winter? Isn't it for to hibernate? I don't know. To hibernate with the bears. With the bears. And they go to have sex with the bears. <laughs> Alright, what's your name? Ellie. Ellie, what do you do? Oh, well, I'm an actor. You're, you're an actor? <laughs> yeah. What is the vernal equinox? The equinox is the balance between lightness and darkness. Huh. And here on this strip it's Mostly darkness, but <laughs> feels like darkness. Feel like darkness. What is the vernal equinox? E oh, that would be when you're chewing on food and it comes up a little bit. You kind of burp up a little bit. I think that's acid reflux. Oh. So that's acid reflux. You work. What kind of work do you do? I work for uh, a law firm doing a firm. A law firm. Well, you're, you're a bright guy. Yeah. All right. What is a toboggan? A toboggan. <laughs> toboggan ice cream flavor. Ice cream flavor. <laughs> what is a toboggan? Don't know. What do you think it might be? Toboggan? Is it another holiday? Is it a food? Is it like a Jewish holiday? It has a ring of uh, Like that. the Feast of Toboggan. <laughs> Perhaps it is. Perhaps I don't know. I'm not Jewish, so... If you're back east and it's icy, what do they throw on the road? They throw a fit. They throw a fit. <laughs> what is the shortest day of the year? The shortest day of the year? New Year's. New Year's? Why would New Year's be the shortest day? Because uh, most of the time you sleep because you're hungover from New Year's Eve. So that would make it the shortest day. That makes sense. All right, when is the winter solstice? You mean the date? No, when? The exact date? What season? In... Fall. In the fall. All right. All right. <laughs> you guys are doing this to make you look stupid. I'm not. Why do you say that? trying to make us look stupid. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to make you look stupid. That's, you're I not am very fair. smart. I've yeah. made very good grades in school. I just. Like, now, what, you really, what was your best spot. subject? What was your best subject? What was your best subject in school? Um, I had a lot. All of them were my best subjects. All of them were your best subjects. <laughs> okay. When was World War II? <laughs> It was in the his in history. It was sometime in history. All you right. don't know the exact date. You don't know, approximately. <laughs> How about the century? The what? The century. What century? Um, the 19th century. The 19th or century. Yeah. The 18th century. No, no. The 19th century. I I don't want to answer any questions. <laughs> Won't you help? I've never been on TV. So. Send your dollars to help educate the children. <laughs> I was joking about that. Love is in the air. In the whisper of the tree. Hey, we bumped into our old friend, uh, Mae Zipperstein. How are you? I miss you a lot. Son. We're talking to people about uh, sex and romance, and people in the our audience has filled out cards. Oh my God! Okay. I'm married 54 years. Yeah. Here, here you go. Here's, here you go. Here's a question. This is from uh, Helen. She's from Arlington, Texas, and she says, at what age can I start telling my husband no to sex? No age. No, no age. You no age. Say you that. have to say yes. Oh, do you, now, are, you, are you a yes girl? <laughs> I'm a yes girl. You're a yes girl. <laughs> now, you weren't that way when you were single. 
No, single. Oh, no. I wouldn't even go. Oh, I was so afraid if I touched oh. them, I'd have a baby. Oh, that's right. Well, I you was don't want so to do that. afraid. I used to wear a veil over my face. Really? Would... So, but now you never say no. Well, I can't lie, but I don't say anything. You don't say anything. <laughs> a couple of weeks ago on the street, we ran into this gentleman who called himself Mr. X. Yeah. He seemed to have a lot of interesting theories about men and women and dating, so we thought we'd talk to him. This girl's name is Cherise. She's from Walnut Creek. She says, what's the best way to keep your lover satisfied? The best way to keep your lover satisfied is through good sexual communication and relations. Mm -hmm. That is the best way. And oral communication is always a good way. Mm. Orally communicate. Let me ask you, now, now should a couple have sex before marriage? A couple should definitely have sex before marriage. Oh, no, 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 wait, now this lady is oh, not. Never. This lady. Now this lady's gonna Never. debate Never. That's why you're not married. Are you married? No. How can he get married having sex before marriage? No, what do you think? No, what do you That's think? terrible. What do you think? No, see, my mama always told she me. She never had sex before. My mama always told me. See, my mama didn't have sex before she no. was married. She uh -huh. said, you should have sex before oh, you're married because oh. you got to make sure your mate and your mate is compatible. Because yeah. if you're not oh. compatible you and you're not, oh, you're not no. pleasing the then bedroom. Then his father and mother not, must not be married any longer. Are they still married? No. I got it. She got, she got, got you. She got, got you. They're not married. Here's a question. Now, this guy wants to know. This is a personal question. First, I'll ask you: Does size really matter? This guy wants to know. Size of what? Well, I yeah, size of what? Listen, this is Sonia. She's from Michigan. Yes. How long should a quickie last? Oh my God, a quickie. Quickie is five minutes, isn't it? Five minutes. How long should a quickie last? A quickie is at least five minutes per 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 look, individual. Oh, look, you and, look, you two agree. No, I don't no, per agree. Individual. This is the older series. This is the new series. So no. We got two opinions, two different sides of the coin. There's yeah. always two sides of the story. Yes, sure. You'll have syphilis before the year 2000. Oh, is your you son married yet? No, he, the girl wasn't born yet. Really? She yeah, has, she wasn't. Where's my older son? one Where's is Howie? Not. Hi, Howie, how Hi, you been? Hi, doing well, thank you. Well, we're talking to people about the sex and romance and things like this. Have you got a, a girlfriend yet? Uh, Jay, I'm still looking. Still I remember looking. Jay was over my house like around two years ago with right. Fabio, and Fabio was my love right. coach. Oh, that's Fabio. <laughs> that's Fabio. Oh, I've seen him do it. I wish I had that oh, Fabio approach. Did Fabio give you some good tips? Fabio was helpful. He was talking about a Howie makeover, so that was, I was dressed then in the 1970s. Now. Well, you can tell by the way I use my walk, I'm a woman's man. No time to talk. Do you need a lot of money to get women in L.A.? Uh, the the money situation that would be helpful. Yeah. Uh, How about like a fancy way. car? As far as a fancy car, well, I drive a 1979 Chevrolet. But as far as on what the what model do you have? I have a 1979 Chevrolet. No, a four door. Classic. It's a four door. It's a four door. It's a 20. It's like 20 years old. I feel yeah. very comfortable driving it. Okay. What's the biggest problem with women? Uh, the biggest problem with women uh, is they dump me. Pretty much every time I want to go out with them, they just uh, they don't want to go out with me after that. Can you give Howie some Imani. tips on... What's your name? Imani. 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 Nice meeting. Can you give Howie some tips on how to meet a woman? Is music, is singing to a woman music on a date? Like, I honestly love you. Is that, I mean, is that valuable? I'm not a music? woman, so I couldn't answer that, that honestly. So I would have to say, yeah. find a woman that likes that and then ask her. We're trying to fix Howie. Are you not married, are you? No. No, no. Oh. Howie is single. Really? He thinks singing to a woman is important on a date. On a date? Yeah. Um, no. Well, unless it's karaoke. Well, come on over, Howie. Why don't you sing a little something to it and see how it works? Let's see what song. I can see clearly now the day is gone. No, the rain is gone. The rain, wait. The rain is I gone. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. It's going to be a bright, bright You've bright left already, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, she's in the cab, Howie. She's in a cab. <laughs> I'm going to ask you some simple questions. This is probably stuff you've learned in school. All right. Who invented the airplane? The Wright brothers. Yeah, about what year? 1950s. 1950s. The first airplane was sometime in the 1950s. What do you do? I'm a flight attendant. Oh, what airline? United Airlines. United, oh, United Airlines. Yeah. Okay, okay. Who invented the airplane? Who invented... Oh, <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. Two <laughs> brothers? Oh, yes. The... Um, Smith? Smith Brothers? Smith Brothers? No, they had a hacking cough. Smith <laughs> uh, what year do you think that was, the first plane? Mm, back in the 19... Uh, 
Let's go with the 1930s. So there are no planes before 1930? No. How did Charles Lindbergh cross the ocean in 1927? Well, that was a blimp, though. Oh, Charles Lindbergh was in a blimp? Yeah. In a blimp. <laughs> so he landed in Paris in his blimp. He was greeted by... What was the name of his blimp, do you remember? I don't know. Isn't it the one that blew up? Or... Oh, the Hindenburg. Yeah. The Hindenburg. Charles Lindbergh blew up in the Hindenburg trying to fly to Paris. By asking people about simple inventions, things you see every day, like... Thomas who, Edison. Thomas Edison what? Invented the light bulb. <laughs> I didn't ask you that yet, but that's, that's very good. <laughs> How about Thomas Edison? You've heard that name. Yeah. What did he invent? Not sure of that one. Pretty big one. Pretty big one? A light bulb should go off in your head when I say this. <laughs> Electricity. And close. What did Louis Pasteur invent? Um, I don't know. Didn't he, like, discover the acid in your stomach or something? Discover the acid in your stomach? <laughs> Never mind. Hi, what's your name? Jennifer. Jennifer, what do you do? I am a teacher. Who invented the Franklin stove? Um, I would assume Franklin. Franklin who? What was his first I name? I don't know. But who, who was Franklin? Mr. Franklin. What was his first name? Um, Joe. I don't know. Joe Franklin. Joe Franklin. Uh, who invented movable type? I don't know what movable type is. Movable type? No. Uh, you ever heard of the Gutenberg Bible? No. Really? No. You ever heard of Gutenberg? No. He was in all the Police Academy movies? Oh, Steve Gutenberg? Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> uh, who invented the telephone? Tumber. Thomas Jefferson? No, that's the light bulb. Thomas Jefferson and the light bulb. No, he didn't invent it. Who invented the telephone? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really kind of like... Uh, Alexander... O'Neill, something like that. O'Neill? Yeah. Okay. Who invented the telephone? Uh, Henry... I'm not sure of the last name. It should ring a bell. Alexander Graham. Doesn't ring a bell? Nope. Doesn't ring a bell. All right. Who invented the telephone? Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. How about Alexander Graham Bell? What did he invent? Oh, uh, actually, Bell invented the telephone. Bell. Yes. Can you name one thing that Ron Popeil invented? Pocket Fisherman. Pocket Fisherman. Have you got one? Uh, no, I don't. Do you have... It's not good that I didn't know the telephone, but I know the pocket fisherman. Yeah, that's sad. It doesn't I say much for Buffalo. What do you think is the best invention of all time? Probably television. Television, because you learn things from it. Definitely. What's your name? Ashley. And what do you do? I go to school. Oh, you're in high school? Yes. I'm in high school. Oh, well, this is perfect. Why do we celebrate Columbus Day? Because Columbus found out the world was not flat. He, we celebrate it because he found out the world was not flat. How did he find it out? Took a ship. Took a ship and... Went around the world. Went around the world. Did he stop anywhere? <laughs> Anything happened along the way? Um, he went to Florida. <laughs> he, he went to Florida. <laughs> and they get, why Florida? Because it's close by Spain. Now, you know this past Monday was Columbus Day. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, it's a day off of work. I mean, it's a day off of work, but what are we celebrating on Columbus Day? Columbus. All right, but what did he do? He, uh, he discovered America. That's right, that's right. What year would you say that was? Uh, 1751 or something 1751. like that? 1751. Did you graduate from college? Yes, I did. Where'd you go? I went to San Francisco State. Oh, that's a very good school. It's a very, very excellent school. school. When did he discover America? 1492. Well, that's very good. That's very good. Thanks. How did he get here? On the Mayflower. Came on the Mayflower. Okay. All right. <laughs> Where did he land exactly? Plymouth Rock? Plymouth Rock. Okay. So Columbus comes in 1751, lands at Plymouth Rock. Yeah. And then what happens? He goes back and tells the king, it's, it's right. The land is right. Come over here. Go back to the king. Land over land here. Right. Yo, free land right over here. Get your land. Free land right over here. Yeah, get, get the Indians get some your land corn right and get here. some land. 
What is America named after? The uh, the guy that found it was uh, like Carlos de Americano or something. Carlos de Americano. Yeah. Who was America named after? Bessie Ross. <laughs> Bessie Ross. She did the flag, right? Yeah. But so why aren't we called the United States of Betsy Ross? <laughs> the forefathers didn't want it like that. What do people think the shape of the world is like? What is it, little Timmy? I think he's trying to tell you something. Good boy. <laughs> what nationality was Columbus? I think he was a uh, Spaniard. No, he was commissioned by the Spaniards, but I don't think he was Spanish. I think he was like British or something. He was British. He was British. Woohoo! What nationality was Columbus? Ooh, uh, Spanish? What nationality was uh, was the Pilgrims? They were they were a bunch of different races, weren't they? A bunch of different races all got together to form the Pilgrims. Yeah. Like the French guy, the Italian guy, the English guy, kind of like the A Team. Sort of something yeah, like, kinda like the A Team. Kind of like the A Team. The Pilgrims <laughs> came here to fight crime. Well, where did Columbus land exactly? He landed in Plymouth, Massachusetts. Okay, so Columbus lands in Plymouth Rock. Yes. Were the Pilgrims here? Were the no, he brought the pilgrims. Oh, okay. Columbus brought the pilgrims. Yeah. Oh. What powered Columbus's ship? Uh, probably slaves. Slaves. Rowing. So you got Columbus steering, slaves rowing, right. pilgrims following, taking up the back. Where did he land? Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock. Okay, Columbus lands <laughs> at Plymouth Rock. Uh, no, and then what happened? That was the. Uh, what? That was on Thanksgiving. He landed on Thanksgiving. Rock. How could it be Thanksgiving if he landed it? If he's the first guy. Okay, he landed in New York. Okay, so he landed in New York. <laughs> he, he walks walks up to Plymouth Rock. How did he get to Plymouth Rock? Hikes. All right, um, so Columbus hikes up there. He gets to Plymouth Rock. Whew, all right, here's a rock. Now what happened? Then. I'm not sure. That's where it kind of. That's where it gets. That's where it gets. Right, gets that's where it gets murky. Up to right, this. Right. <laughs> up to this point, it's crystal clear. <laughs> It's a little cool. murky All when right. we get to Plymouth Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Christy. Christy, what do you do? I go to college right now at Azusa Pacific University. And what University. are you studying? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> it's, now, in the front of your textbooks, it should say something. Do you have any particular field of study? Maybe physical therapy. Amazing. Also, like the human body. Yeah. That's perfect. That's what these questions are about. We'll ask you about that. Okay. What is the normal human body temperature? Um, a hundred. Hundred and. Hundred and two. Hundred and two. That would be normal. I don't know. You're not sure. What should your body temperature be? Uh. 72? 72. If you put a thermometer in your mouth, what would you want it to read? Uh, healthy? No, they don't, they don't, it doesn't go like good, bad, dead. <laughs> Davina, what do you do? I'm a clerk. At a store? No, at a school. Oh, at a school, at a school. Okay. Elementary school. Oh, like I said you had a body temperature of 107. Is that good or bad? That's bad. How about if it was 91? That's kind of close. How about if it was like 98.6? That's still kind of close. Close to what? To like, like getting like a cold or something. You want to get like a hundred? That's bad. Bad. So because what, like when I'm what, at the school and when I get to check the kids' temperature, right. if it's near that, then they have to go home. So if it's near 98.6, they go home? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Send a lot of kids home? No, not really, because it's not that close though. So what, what is the normal temperature? I guess like 90. If there's like 90, then they're fine. 90, they're fine. How many lungs do we have? I don't know, about six. About six lungs. Six lungs. <laughs> if I asked to see your bicuspid, where would I look? Is that on your leg? Well, if you got bit, it could be. <laughs> yeah. I know everything about anatomy, you know? You do. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. That's good. How many senses does a person have? Five. Five senses. I have six. What is the sixth one? 
And it's it's between my ears. It's my my brain. Your brain. Yeah. And, and, and what is the sense that it has? The sense I can feel. I can feel your personality. It's coming right into me. <laughs> Where would you find bone marrow? Is that on your foot? On your foot. On the outside of your foot? On the inside? Like, hey, you got bone marrow. <laughs> All right, talking with chemo. Chemo. K984. Okay, what is it? K984. Yeah. Chemo K984. Yeah. Is that your last name? That's like my art name. Oh, your art name. Yeah. So your regular name is Chemo. And what happened to your forehead? Oh, uh, I was banging my head too hard. <laughs> what, what, what were you doing that caused you to bang your head? I was listening to some Fungal Kingdom. You know? Fungal Kingdom. Yeah, I was too close to a window pane right there. You know? And you were getting into the music. Oh, yeah. You know, I think you're going to do just perfect for us here. <laughs> we're asking people about the human body. Do men have angina? Angina. Can men I, get angina? Uh, I guess if like they do some kind of surgery or something like that. Well, they can change. Yeah. And get one. Yeah. But you don't have one to start with. No, no, no. What would it cost you to get a, you know, pretty good angina? Uh, psh, ten grand, something. Ten like grand, that. something like that. You need a joint. Do we? Do I have a joint? No, not do you have one. <laughs> on, you know? Can't you? We have to rest you. No, I'm sorry. Which side is your heart located, left or right? Left, but it's more in the middle. It's in the middle. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to pledge allegiance, mm -hmm. where would you put your hand? But that's way over on the right. That's left. Oh, it's the left side. You're right. <laughs> Why are you blindfolded? Um, I'm not really sure. It's your birthday? <laughs> yes, I'm being taken somewhere mysterious, apparently. Oh, how long have you had the blindfold on? Um, about an hour. Oh, about an hour? Wow. Right. Would you be afraid to go to a doctor who was a homeopath? <laughs> No. No, why not? Because I'm not homo homo homeopathic phobic. Homeopathic phobic. Right. Do women have a prostate? Yes. Where is your prostate? In your anus. What? In your anus. How about man's ovaries? Do men have ovaries or just women? Uh, well, yeah, but they hang a little bit lower. They hang lower. <laughs> Here's your problem. I think the engine's missing. <laughs> Seem to be missing? Yeah, yeah, that's... Uh. Talking with driver Kenny Wallace. Kenny, uh, <laughs> if you were to move to Florida, you think you could pass the written test here for driving? Gosh, you have to be about 85 to do that, I believe, so ooh, I don't know. Ooh, I love little Flo jab at Florida. I love ooh. Florida, but... Well, do you think you could beat an 85-year-old guy in the written test in Florida, Mr. Smart Guy? I don't know. They're, they're, <laughs> you know, although you seem to get a little senile in your older age, they're still pretty smart because when I'm driving behind them, they're always yeah. blocking me right to left. I can never get by them. Oh, boy. Talk with uh, Mark Martin. Now, how long have you been driving? 25 years. 25. Now, did you pass your driver's test first time around? No. I didn't you have did. a driver's license when I started. <laughs> you were just driving? Yeah, well, you know, I was from Arkansas in the early 70s. You did what you wanted. <laughs> Back in the 70s, you just did what you wanted in Arkansas. We did. Yeah, and, 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 and certainly the governor did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, do whatever you want. <laughs> We're talking with the king, Richard Petty himself. What does a red curb mean? In Florida, you see a red curb, what does that mean? I guess that means somebody's done run over somebody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it could okay. be. Now, I'll take that. Talking with Dale Earnhardt. Uh, Dale, you think you could pass the driving, the written test for the state of Florida? Probably not. No. I can't read Spanish. <laughs> you know your hand signals. Show yes. me a right turn. When... I don't think you need that. No, that's black power. No, that's right on. That's talking with uh, Bill France, Mr. NASCAR, the president, the man who makes the rules. You know your hand signals. Yes, but I have used them a long time because you got those little levers you pull you on got the side the levers. of the steering yeah, wheel. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the little lever on the side of the wheel. Yeah. Been driving quite a while, haven't you? Quite a while. <laughs> All right, talking with uh, Dale Jarrett and Robert Yates, the owner of the car. Want to work as a team? Yes. Uh, kind of two guys sharing a brain on this? Definitely. You know your hand signals? Whichever way you're pointing, that's where you're going. Where you're pointing so where is you're where going. you're going. Now, you know your hand signals. Very important in Florida. Hand signals. I only know one. Uh, all right, we don't need to go into that. 
How close should you drive to the car ahead of you on the freeway? Well, you're supposed to find a marker on the side of the road and count like two or three seconds. No. In between you and... Okay. okay uh, one car length for what? Mm. One car length for each... Mile per hour? <laughs> How close should you drive to the car ahead of you on the freeway in Florida or on the highway? One inch. One inch? One inch. No, you're not drafting the guy. How close should you drive to the car ahead of you on the freeway? One car length for every what? Uh, person inside it? One car length for every person inside the car. So if there's like a bus, you would be a couple of hundred feet sure. behind. Yeah. At a four-way stop sign, who goes first? Me. No, you mean his car owner? That's what he's yeah. That's right. Going to the state of Florida, where should your hands be while driving? I would say on the steering wheel. All right. Where should your hands be while driving, according to the state of Florida? 10 and 2 o'clock, but I don't drive no, like that. No, no. Not 10 and 2. You want to try another time? Uh, 9.30 and 2.30. No, you're getting closer, though. <laughs> no, 9 and 3, according to them. That's, that's goofy. According to the state of Florida, where should your hands be while driving? Here. Now, it looks like you got arthritis. Well, I'm about, I'm about you know, over here. Uh, what time one, would that be? One o'clock and about nine o'clock. That's my comfortable driving. No, no, I'm caught into Florida. It's uh, three o'clock and nine o'clock. Where should your hands be while driving? At the uh, one o'clock and the 11 o'clock positions on the steering wheel. One o'clock and 11 o'clock. I never heard of that one. One and 11. No, no. That, no, that's like 80-year-old. That's this. <laughs> that's this. No, no that's, you want to try and like this. Want to try Where should your hands be while driving? Where on the wheel? At um, 2 and 10. No, 10 and 2. No, no, want to try another time? 12, 10 and 12. No, no, want to try another time? Uh, 9 and uh, 4. No. Midnight. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> One last guess. Uh, I just say uh, 9 and 3. That's it. No way. That's right, you got it. Well, maybe if I you do that, You are I'll the grand better. prize winner. Thank <laughs> you.